given that P, the matrix P is this, and the matrix Q is that, find P to the power T. So whenever you see a matrix, in this case P, that has been raised to the power T, it means they want you to find the transpose of this particular matrix. First of all, what is a transpose of a matrix? So first of all, you need to understand that the numbers that are horizontally like this are called rows. And the numbers that are in a vertical arrangement like this, they are called columns. Okay? So now, coming back to coming back to P transpose. Alright. So whenever the question is asking you to find the transpose of a matrix, they just want you to, in, to make the rows, to change the rows to become columns. In other words, you are interchanging the rows by columns. So you can see that you have this row. Now you need to change this row into a column. So you're going to have uh, 4, negative 1, 0. Okay, so you can see that you have changed this row. It has become a vertical uh, arrangement of numbers, which is a column. Okay, you also do the same with this. So we have 2, 0, 3. All right, so this is a transpose of this matrix. Part B, they want you to find P, Q. Okay, what does it mean PQ? It means that you need to multiply the matrix P and Q. So, um, before you carry on with your multiplication, there are things that you are supposed to consider uh, because sometimes multiplication in matrix in matrices does not exist. So, first of all, you need to test if multiplication in these matrices uh two matrices exist okay so first of all you need to know to write the order of each of these two matrix matrices so you mentioned the order of a matrix by starting with the number of rows so you have one two so you have two rows and then how many columns one two three so it's a two by three matrix so this is the order what about this one? How many rows? We have one, two, three. So the rows are three. How many columns? One. So it's a three by three by one matrix. All right. So now what you have to know is that if these inside numbers, these, these numbers that are inside are the same, it means that uh, multiplication between the two matrices exist. But if, it, if, if these numbers were different, it means multiplication was not going to exist. All right. In other words, uh, for multiplication to take place to, or to exist, the number of columns of the first matrix should be equal to the number of rows of the second matrix. matrix. Now, what, what about uh, <clears throat> these outside numbers? What do they tell you of this? So these outside numbers, they, they, they tell you the order of the matrix that you are going to find after you've done the multiplication. So the order of the matrix that you are going to have after you found, after you've carried out your multiplication will be a 2 by one two by one matrix all right now that we have established that multiplication exists we can now go ahead and multiply these two matrix matrices so matrix p is this one we have four uh negative one zero uh two zero three which is being multiplied by 
this matrix one two three one two three matrix uh, Q so in multiplying matrices you multiply them following row of the rows of the first matrix matrix by the columns of the second matrices matrix okay so meaning we're going to start with uh, this row and finish with uh, with this column and then this row and finish with that column okay so we're going to have four times one so four times one uh, plus negative one times two so negative one times two and plus zero times three so we are done with this row and this column okay then we come to this row so we have two times one okay so we are talking about this two times one plus uh, zero times two plus three times three three times three all right everything you put in brackets like this because it's a matrix okay so what is needed now is just to simplify so four times one is four then plus negative one times two is negative two then zero plus zero times three is zero all right then two times one is two plus zero times two is zero plus three times three is nine okay so four plus negative two plus zero is just two okay four plus zero i mean two plus zero is two plus nine is eleven so this is the answer this is it the matrix PQ and just as I said uh, the order of this matrix is 2 by so 1 2 so it's a 2 by 1 matrix just as I said here about the outside numbers 